Excel Data Validation is a powerful tool that allows us to control the type and format of data entered into cells. Data Validation in Excel is all about defining rules and criteria that control the type, format, and the range of data that can be entered into a cell. By enforcing validation rules, we can minimize errors, reduce data entry time, and maintain consistency across our spreadsheets. Data validation criteria can include constraints such as whole numbers, decimals, dates, and text length limit. Now that we understand the fundamentals of data validation, let's dive into setting up some basic validation rules. Select the cell or range of cells whether you want to apply the validation rule. Now we need to navigate to the data tab, click on data validation and choose the desired validation criteria. In data validation window we can see three tabs, settings, input message and error alert. The settings tab is the primary section of the data validation window. Here you can specify the criteria that the data entered into the selected cells must meet. Options typically include allow. This drop-down menu allows you to choose the type of data allowed such as whole numbers, decimals, dates, times, text lengths or custom formulas. Data. Depending on the allow section, you can set specific parameters or criteria for the allowed data. For example, if whole number is selected, you can specify minimum and maximum values. Ignore blanks. Checkbox option to determine whether blank cells are considered valid. Input message tab. In this tab, you can enter a title and input message. When a user selects a cell with data validation, the input message appears as a tooltip, providing guidance or instructions on valid data entry. Error alert tab. Here you can configure an error message that appears when a user attempts to enter data that violates the validation criteria. Options typically include style. Choose from stop, warning or information. This determines the severity of the alert. Title and error message are pretty self-explanatory. We also have checkboxes on both the input message and error alert tabs. They allow to choose whether to show these messages. And here we have a clear all button which will delete our rule. I would also advise you to always craft messages with the end user in mind. Make sure that they are not overly technical and are tailored for the audience's level of expertise with Excel. Before finalizing your data validation settings, test the input and error messages to ensure they display correctly and convey the intended information. This helps catch any potential issues or confusion before deploying the workbook. Once you've set your criteria, Excel will enforce these rules, allowing only valid data to be entered into the specified cells. While basic validation rules cover many scenarios, there are times when you need more flexibility. That's where custom validation rules come in. With custom validation, we can define our own criteria using Excel formulas. By leveraging Excel's formula capabilities, we can create dynamic validation rules that adapt to changing data conditions. Another powerful feature of data validation is the ability to work with predefined lists. Instead of manually entering data, we can create a list of predefined values and use data validation to restrict input to these values. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Take care!